Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are all good. I've got a bit of a different setup here. I've, I've moved countries. Um, so I've just been kind of getting sorted out and getting settled in. Um, just before I start, I just want to let you know I've started up some new social media pages um, for different types of readings. So obviously on YouTube, I'm doing the Zodiacs and the love readings, um, but I've set up a TikTok. I'm having so much fun on TikTok um, and I'm doing daily readings there. Um, I am still doing some Zodiac messages there. Um, a lot of love messages are over there, but I'm also doing a lot of in uh, sort of like interaction over there. So um, I'm doing a lot of free one question pulls for viewers. So, you know, if you are interested in checking out my TikTok and joining me over there, um, it is, you can find me at, at fee underscore tarot. And um, also on Instagram, I've got a pick, uh, pick a picture, pick a symbol, pick a card page um, where it's more channeled messages um, over there. So and again, you can find that at fee underscore tarot um, if you like to do a lot of pick cards. They're quite fun as well. So, yeah, I've just set up those different social medias just for different purposes so let's get into your weekly love reading. I've just done Aries. Aries had a great reading. I'm excited. I'm excited for the Zodiacs this week because I've been feeling such amazing energy. I've felt a huge shift in energy and I feel really excited. I feel so excited for spring. Not even just uh, for love either, but for, for opportunities that are coming in for people. Okay, Leo, see what love has in store for you guys this week. Love and romance. What is going on for you guys with love and romance this week? Okay. Your present energy. Recent past energy. Is guiding you. The root of this energy. Your near future energy. You. Oh, two. And your person. Okay, let me get these out of the way. Bottom of the deck. Oh, we have the Ace of Swords here. Okay. Just check that you guys can see all of these. Okay. Right, guys. Your present energy surrounding your love life and relationships. We have death. So there is a transformation that is going on right now. There is a shift, a huge shift going on. The end of something and a rebirth of something new doesn't necessarily mean that something is over or a relationship is over. That It just means that there is a shift in the energy. The energy has completely changed here. Um, there's a huge change. There's a change in you as well. You, the way you're seeing connections and relationships has changed. You're going through a big change. This may be quite, um, not, I don't want to say a difficult week because I don't feel like it's difficult because I feel like it can be quite elated as well. But I feel like you're going to be feeling quite liberated. But again, a little bit like Aries, you're going to need to ground yourself a little bit this week. There's an evolution going on here. There's a maturing that is going on here. There's a, there's a new world opening up. There's a new way of you seeing things. And there's abundance where you didn't see it before. You're collecting... Can you see there the key? You're collecting a key. A key... Um, a key to life. A key to love. There's some 
knowledge, some wisdom, something that um, you're gaining here. Recent past energy. Wow. The star. Destiny. There's been a healing. There's some power that you've downloaded something. You've downloaded this key, this key information. You've downloaded something that is helping you to evolve and you're evolving into something beautiful. Um, your connections are going to change. Your dynamics, your relationship dynamics are going to change. I feel like you're coming into your power more. I feel like you're going to be more in your power with this. You're going to be more powerful. The root of this death is the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. You've completed something huge as well. You've, you've really completed something massive. You've completed a cycle, a huge cycle, and you've gained a lot of experience. Now, what you've learned, I feel like it's being kind of processed and filed inside of you, but you're now stepping into like a new you, um, and you're going to be having some brand new experiences. This is more evolved. This is like a level up, a huge level up. So you're going to be having some new experiences. You successfully completed a cycle in love and relationships. You, it was a physical experience here. You've successfully completed something. It involves other people as well. There's been a victory there's been a victory. The universe has granted you something, a blessing, some gifts here. There's been a downloading of information. There is a big healing that has gone on with you and you're in a process of transformation at the moment. You may not even want to be around anybody romantically this week because this is kind of like, I'm getting like, it's more important for you to be focusing on self-love and nurturing yourself while this sort of in integration is going on with you. But you are really blossoming here. There's something, it's literally like you, you, you're, you're stepping out of a golden egg here. You're cracking that egg open and you're coming out and you're going to be absolutely incredible with this. Your experiences that you're going to have are going to be incredible. Guiding this is an ace of wands. Yeah, a whole brand new beginning for you. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Some new passion. You, I don't even just feel, yeah, I don't even just feel like you're going to be um, experiencing love on an even deeper, more rewarding, more beautiful level. I feel like this is going to filter into your life, your whole life experience. Like your whole life, you're going to be seeing, you're going to be so in love with life. You're going to be seeing beauty everywhere because you're embodying it. You're going through a major transformation here and you're, you're just becoming so beautiful with this. This is like huge, some huge activation going on. Near future energy. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. The star, death, the star man. Yeah, you are in your power. You're creative. You're passionate. You're creative. You know yourself. You know your power. You take action. You're going to get things done. You, everything you touch or anyone you interact with is going to be um, you're going to, you're literally are, oh, it's this magician energy. Everything you touch is going to turn to love. Everything you touch is going to turn to gold. Um, everything you touch is going to turn to diamonds. Like literally, you, it's like you're gaining major powers as well, but I'm getting here as well. Yet yeah, I'm getting like electric energy from this star man. I'm getting like major, um, like upgrades in your masculine energy and, and, uh, and this power, but at the same time as you are giving, you're going to be giving a lot, you're going to be attracting a lot, it's like this magnitude that is coming in for you as well, you are really in your power, I'm not, do you know what, it's so funny, because I'm not even getting much about anyone else in this reading, I'm getting this is all about you, so I'm feeling like, yeah, maybe this week doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be anything huge happening with others for you, um, in regards to romance, but there is something major happening within you, which is better than any any um, 
any sort of interaction with others right about now. You are really going through this process, falling in love with yourself, starting something brand new where you are so in your power. And I feel, you know, if this is, if if the Leos who I've been reading for, um, you know, over the past few months, if if those Leos are resonating with this message, you deserve this. You've been through a lot. You really have been through a lot. Your energy is this five of cups. Again, I feel like you just need to ground yourself. You need to ground yourself. Things are falling away. Parts of you are dying. You may not feel the same that as you did about um, things before because you're evolving. Um, it's connections that you have, you may not feel the same about them um, that you did. I don't really feel like this is you feeling less than. I feel, or, or, you know, feeling kind of uh, lack. I feel like this is more you assessing the way you feel about things. You could be feeling a bit down because you're not, you don't feel the same way that you once did. But again, it doesn't necessarily mean that um, some, a connection is over. It's just that you're going to have a new experience of it. I mean, for some, yeah, a connection is going to be over. And I'm feeling more this cycle that is going to be coming in for you next is going to be about you for a while. It is going to be about you. You're in such powerful energy. Such powerful energy here. You just need to give yourself time this week with this death energy. You need to ground yourself, give yourself time, give yourself peace. Anyone tries to give you any crap this week, just shut them out. This is your week. This is your time here. The person you're dealing with, now we've got two cards here. You may be dealing with two people or this could be just two messages about one person. But we have here temperance. So this is a major arcana here. Something is going to need some patience. It's going to take some time. There's some healing going on. And this is guided energy. This is really guided energy here. So yeah, there's a deep healing going on for your person. But they need some time as well. They've got things going on for them. And they're taking their time. And they're going through some sort of transformation, also some healing, finding themselves. So interesting here, because again, I'm getting here a big surging masculine energy with this star man. You see like the colours as well. And here I'm getting this healing, this beautiful sort of like integration of feminine energy here. Regardless of what gender you are, it looks like... One person is having some major upgrade in the masculine energy and the other's having something occurring in the feminine energy. Now, this could be the same person or this could be another person um, as we've got two cards, but it's a 10 of ones here. Someone's exhausted. Somebody is exhausted. They need a rest. They need a break. They are tired out. They are worn out. They feel old. They can't go on anymore. They can't go on with with whatever they've been doing they can't continue with that anymore they need to let go because they're exhausted um again it could be this person closing up a cycle like what you have done they may be they may be closing up a cycle too or it could be that one connection is done and the other one is going through a big healing process and it and it's going to take time for you both and i'm just feeling that it's going to be more important for you to focus on yourself during this time this person's going to be focusing on their self um you need to ground yourself you need to allow yourself to just feel what you feel it's normal to not feel the same way that you used to about things because you're evolving and transforming Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Three of Swords there. But again, I feel like this is more about 
your feelings and and how that you don't feel the same way that you used to about certain things we've got queen of wands and six of wands there um so yeah this is kind of what i've got for you oh hang on no i've not finished sorry i'm getting carried away here okay so you're moving forwards on your journey there's some things as well. There's some sort of um, certain obstacles, okay? You're going to be facing them this week. There's going to be certain things, certain um, issues that you're going to be facing this week and you're going to be overcoming them this week. You're going to be, yeah, this is kind of like the same sort of thing here. You are, there's going to be some communication here. Um, you are going to be, I feel like there's just like this sort, this kind of like sorting out, this refiling and sorting out going on inside of you. And I feel like you're going to be communicating with others. Others are going to try and communicate with you, but you're going to be kind of, I feel like you're going to be getting signs and communications from spirit that you're going to be processing here there's inf you're just having a major download sort of week here there's some communication coming in i'm feeling like there may be one person and there's some communication that you really don't want to have um and if that is the case this week just don't don't do it just don't do it give yourself just give give your energy to yourself this week Yeah, emotionally, you're the nine of swords. There's a lot of sword stuff, again, but this is because of the situation that you're going in, the change, the transition that you're going in. Um, you, you, I just feel like you're not going to feel very grounded. You're going to feel a little bit unstable. And it's just because a part of you is dying. The, the, the shadow of you is falling away. You're shedding the skin. Um, just give yourself time. Ground yourself here. Physically, you've got the world. So what is actually going on for you in the 3D to feel of life is the world. But this card, I'm not just reading this in regards to there's an ending. There is some huge possibilities. Again, this is just a completion of a cycle, a huge cycle. You've successfully completed it. You've not failed. It's not something that's, that you failed at. You've successfully completed a cycle in love and romance and there's with this world something new is coming in but there is so much possibility there's gifts coming in you've got gifts coming in blessings coming in expansion coming in more possibility coming in this is wonderful energy really wonderful energy but yeah this week is going to be a heavy week you're going to be going through it this week um you need to just give all your energy to yourself here bottom of the deck is ten of swords so it's a quite a heavy sword week for you um and the cups that are here is the five of cups so you just need to nurture yourself there's a lot of mental sort of processing going on but some beautiful beautiful energy coming in oh my gosh gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and i just want to say to you congratulations congratulations I'm really excited for you. Just literally shut out the world this week and just go within and take care of yourself. Um, so that is what I've got for you guys. If you like this reading, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Comment if this is you. Comment, let me know. Let me know. I'm quite interested to see if this reading, if I'm, if, if this reading resonates with the Leos that I have been reading for, that resonated with my past readings, because I feel, yeah, like you guys went through a lot. You were going through the most. And you know what? Looking at this and feeling the energy that's coming in, it, it's worth it. It's been worth it because you've got something incredible coming in. Absolutely unbelievable unbelievable 
Um, so yeah, if you want to see more, um, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you would like to join me over at TikTok and check out the free one question readings over there as well. Um, it's at fee underscore tarot and the pick a cards or pick a symbol, pick a symbol, pick a picture is at Instagram again at fee underscore tarot. Have a great week guys. Take care.